Uh, this guy approaches me, he's like, uh, sir, I don't think you should be doing that. And I was like, uh, what do you mean? Uh, how do you know this? And he was like, uh, I know that because I work here. As he pulls out his badge. My name is Eduardo Arroyo and today we'll be exploring San Francisco's Municipal Railway or Muni for short. You might be wondering if we're making a video on the Muni why are we at a park? Let me tell you today is a very windy day so getting a good shot of anything it's almost impossible since my camera doesn't have a mic uh, input and uh, there's no like place around my house like a bench or anything so it was really hard to record uh, anywhere so I had to come to this park it's kind of quiet kind of relaxing so I thought it was a good idea to start here when thinking exactly how I wanted to make this video I was wondering if I should make it of the entire public transportation system here in San Francisco but that would make for a very long video so instead of doing that I would like to focus today on talking about the Muni and more specifically about the light rail and the bus let me just go ahead and grab my stuff uh, and we can get going. San Francisco is a huge city, so when it comes to public transportation, there's a lot of different alternatives. Here in San Francisco, you can find uh, light rail cars, you can find cable cars, you can find street cars, you can also find buses like any other city, you can find the car train, and lastly, the BART. Right now I'm on my way to the Muni stop that is closest to my house but before we get there I would like to talk about some of the basic things regarding the Muni. For example, how much does it cost to get on the Muni? This first question does not have a definitive answer as depending on what method you use in order to pay for your Muni ride it's going to depend how much that's going to cost. With that said, there are three different methods in order to pay for the Muni. We're walking this way. Yeah, I could make that, but probably not. I'm just gonna wait for this one. The first method that you can use to pay for the Muni is simple cash. Uh, for this method, you it's necessary that you bring the exact amount of change because they don't give any change back. that way. In order to pay for this method uh, you have to get on the first car and there's a place where you pay and uh, it gives you a ticket. This ticket is good for 90 minutes and you can use any other light rail car or any bus that you find in that amount of time. We're very close, almost there. The stop is right after this bank. We are here, this is a stop for the Muni, and this is the light rail which takes you to downtown. See there's two lines, this one is going to downtown, the other one is coming back. The second method that you can use in order to pay for your Muni ride is using the app. There's actually an app uh, that you can use, it's called Muni Mobile. In that app you can pay your fare through there. Um, honestly, I've never used this method, but I have a lot of friends that do, and they say that it's really helpful, really convenient. Um, honestly, I prefer the third method. In my opinion, the best way to pay for your mini ride is using the Clipper card. Let me show it to you. This is it. Uh, this card, you can uh, 
pay for it in any uh, convenience store. I use Walgreens. And the Muni is coming, as you see. Let's go get a seat, like kind of in the back, dude. Hopefully, there's not a lot of people in that. We can record uh, better that way. Obviously, there are many different factors that will determine which payment option you will use. But honestly, it depends mostly on your lifestyle. How many times will you be taking the bus a day, a week? Uh, like I said before, for me, I take it almost every day. So getting the monthly pass, getting a discount, that's my best option. I also forgot to mention that you get a discount if you uh, pay using your Muni Mobile or your Clipper card. So that's another thing to think about. Um, just whatever works for you, it will be the best option. I think the Muni should be coming anytime now. I'm gonna stand up and go check on it. Wow. You guys, I'm finally in the Muni. I have to be quiet just to be respectful to people, but before that, I just wanted to mention a few things. Uh, this is line M, this is one of the seven lines uh, in the Muni for uh, night cars, and uh, this will take us all the way to downtown, like I said before. I don't know if you saw when I got up, uh, I paid that tiny thing right there, this one. You just swipe your card and you'll get it. It's really easy to use, so that's why I use it. I just swipe whenever I need to go anywhere. Hey there you guys, we finally made it here to Van Ness Station. Uh, this is one of the multiple underground stations for the light rail uh, here in the Muni system. And uh, as you can see, we are underground. It's a pretty big place. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me that well, but I will try my best. Um, there's two lines. One is for cars going outbound, and the other one is for cars going inbound. Inbound means that uh, these are going into downtown, and outbound means that they're leaving downtown. If you're not from San Francisco, all you have to know is that Downtown is where most of the offices for most of the companies are located. So if you ever come to San Francisco for work or for an internship, downtown is probably where you'll be going. At least that's the case for me. I live on the west side of the city, so I have to go through uh, eight different stops like this one, eight different stations in order to get to my job. And uh, it sounds like a lot because it is. Uh, it's honestly a long way, but it doesn't feel like it because the light rail is really fast. a map of the different stations along with the different lines that go through those stations uh, there they are all the different lines uh, you can also see the times where when they'll be coming and going uh, you can see if it's outbound or inbound so it's really easy to track uh, there's also the names of all the different stations me and one of my friends have this inside joke about this map uh, it's a bad joke it's a really bad one <laughs> Uh, basically, you see how there's a station called uh, church. Well, we say like, oh, uh, you can tell people that you go to church every day. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> hey guys, so something happened to me. Um, I was down there uh, doing my B-roll shots and everything, and everything was going really nice. But uh, this guy approaches me. He's like, uh, sir, I don't think you should be doing that. And I was like. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, how do you know this? And he was like, uh, I know that because I work here. As he pulls out his badge, I was just like, oh snap, like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> and he told me to go ask uh, upstairs if I could get like a permit or something. I was like, I don't think they're going to give me a permit. So I just came out and I didn't even ask them anything. Uh, maybe I'll like, ask some other time, but right now I really don't feel like it. Kind of caught me by surprise. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> like, how do you know that, sir? He's like, I work here. Okay, guys, since I just got kicked out of the muni station, <laughs> I think I'm just going to go and find a bus stop where I can head to somewhere where I can get something to eat. I'm really hungry. It's kind of unfortunate, kind of funny, too, that it happened today and to me. But uh, anyways, I'll come back whenever I find a bus stop.
Alright you guys, I'm finally here at the bus stop. As you can see, behind me you'll see the map. This map is everywhere from the different stalls, from inside the light cars to inside the train station. So here's the map for the bus and for all the different uh, transportation methods. So as you can see, the, the light rail doesn't cover everywhere. It kind of goes like in a diagonal like that. Um, but that's why the buses exist. The buses kind of like fill in the gaps and they take you like any other places that you might want to go. They can go up, they can go down and take you to all those different places where you wouldn't be able to get to. One example that I use is that in order to get to Golden Gate Bridge, uh, you need to use a bus because there's no other alternative. Uh, there's no light rail that takes you there. And unless you want to pay for Uber, you have to take that bus. The bus is definitely slow and it doesn't fit as many people as let's say the streetcar or the light rail that we saw earlier. But it does what it can. Uh, it can help you get to all those other places that you wouldn't be able to get to. Oh dang it guys, I kind of forgot how slow these freaking buses are. I just looked at the little time thing that tells you by what time your bus is gonna arrive. And it said 24 minutes. I was expecting like 10. Hey, how y'all doing? What's up, California? This is Bob, all the way, Jacksonville, Florida. Getting that California love. <laughs> peace out. Thank you, peace out. I looked at the time thing up there. I don't know if you can see. And it says that it's gonna get here in like 24 minutes. I'm just like, brat. <laughs> but I guess I have to wait for that. Uh, I'm gonna go get ramen, so I'm really excited. Uh, so I'll see you guys then. And just like that, my little trip throughout the Muni system here in San Francisco is done. Um, I think it was really funny that I got kicked out. I didn't know I couldn't record there. Uh, thankfully, they didn't ask me for my video like to delete anything. And I was kind of done filming for the most part. So it worked out for me. We'll see if I can assemble the pieces and make something out of this. If not, then it's whatever. It was still a fun experience. and. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Well, you guys, that's kind of all for me today. It was really fun bringing you guys along to this crazy trip. A lot of things happened. Remember to be kind, have an open mind. We'll see you next time.